Nishna Bemowin audio log for November 22nd, 2020. Progress is slow, but steady. As usual, remembering verbs in conjunct form is the biggest challenge. That Ojibwe grammar, man. But I'm getting there. Can be pretty frustrating, but I gotta keep reminding myself why I'm doing this. My priority for learning Nishnabemwin, or the Ojibwe language, is to pass it on to my sons. They do have names in the language after all. Jiquis and Ayabe. I love those boys so much. Also, as an Anishinaabe person who makes a living using the English language, I kind of feel like it's my duty to devote just as much time and attention to my native language. Right now, I'm in the process of writing my next novel, and I want Anishinaabemwin to be a big part of it. It's going to be in a lot of the dialogues, so I got to get it right. I want to eventually write a novel in my language, someday. It's a huge job, and who knows if I'll ever have the skill to do it. But that's why I'm making these recordings, to document the words and lessons I'm picking up along the way. And also to keep myself accountable to my culture, my family, my community, and our stories. They say that Ojibwe is one of the only indigenous languages that will survive into the next century. I don't know who they is, but that fact has been hammered into my brain over the years. Some community dialects of Nishnabemwin are already dying, or dead. It's a tragedy. It makes me pretty damn angry. This country is responsible for that. I don't speak my language fluently because Canada beat and shamed my ancestors out of speaking it and passing it down. But I gotta remind myself not to get too mired in these bad feelings. I'm still gonna talk about them though, because that's an important part of this journey. Anyway, here are today's words. This is stuff I'm going to use in the next novel. The word for blueberry is mean. The plural, blueberries, is minan. It's an inanimate noun, so there's going to be an important scene later in the book focused on blueberry picking. And I have to remember that bit of grammar. Blueberry is an inanimate noun. The verb to pick blueberries is minke. Nui minke means I'm going blueberry picking. Ngi minke me means we picked blueberries. Minkenda means let's pick blueberries. So that's the language memory for today's log. And now here's a bit of prose that I'm going to have to translate. I wrote this in English today, and I'll start trying to translate it tomorrow. But here it is, so that I don't forget. My boy, it is time to go. Our people have been here for too long. We need to go back home. We can't stay here anymore. This land has sustained us. It has provided. It welcomed us, comforted us when no one else did. They sent us up here to die. Little did they know. Yet here we are after everything that has happened. Now their ways are dead. But not our ways, no. You helped take us back to where we needed to be. You're a good man. You did it for her, for your people, and for all of your children. And all their children. And the children that will come after them. You made it this far. You have to go farther, though. We can't stay here anymore. It's time to go home.